everybody. So today I have my new Ipsy vs. Birchbox for you guys for the month of April. I am so excited to do this month. I think I say that every month, but I'm always excited to see what I get. It's always exciting to get something in the mail and open it and always be surprised. You have no idea what's in it. So I am going to get right into the video, guys. I'm going to be opening my Ipsy Glam Bag first. Everything that I'm going to be showing you guys today for the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Birch Box, as usual, is going to be listed in the description. So if you see any of these things that you want to purchase the full size or if you want to sign up for the Ipsy Glam Bag or the Birch Box, that will be there for you to do so. So the card for this month in the Ipsy Bag is called Dreamers. I tend to be a little biased towards the Ipsy. I just love the Ipsy. I don't know what it is about the Birch Box. I just, I've gotten the Ipsy for a lot longer than the Birch Box, and I'm actually curious to see if you guys like the comparison or if you guys would just like me to do strictly the Ipsy. So if you guys could let me down below because I'm thinking about canceling my Birch Box, not because I don't like it, but just because I don't really use this stuff in it as much as I do the Ipsy, and if you guys like these videos, then let me know and I'll certainly keep doing them, but please let me know in the description because I am thinking about canceling my Birchbox um, subscription soon. Here is the bag for April's Ipsy. Very cute. Oh my gosh, these are like two of my favorite colors. This is so cute. Generally in the Ipsy Glam Bag, I get five items, but today it looks like I have four, which is interesting. I think that's the first month I've only gotten four, but let's see how it is. Okay, so the first product in my Ipsy is this City Color Highlight Trio Palette. So this just looks like a set of highlighters, which is pretty cool. They have kind of a gold one, kind of a more um, tannish one and then kind of a pink so I'm gonna swatch them for you guys so they are highlighters so they are very very light I hope that you guys can see them this is the golder one the lighter one and the pink one they're very very pretty I always put these on the wrong hand because now I'm trying to flip it so you guys can see it in the camera but anyway so this looks really cool actually I'm gonna use those for sure highlighters are just great to have there are so many out there so it's just nice to be able to try some without buying the full size, which is what I say every month, but that's seriously a big reason why I like getting these subscription boxes. Next is by Adesse New York. It's Organic Infused Nail Lacour. Ooh, I actually really like this color a lot. It's called Irina, and it's a, like a pale gray color. It's not too dark, but it looks really cool. I really, really like that color. I'm definitely gonna have to try that. It does say gel on it, so I'm not sure if I need the gel stuff, you know, to be able to, like I'm wearing gel right now, I always get gel, but you have to put it under the UV light, so I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything on it, so maybe you just use it like normal. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. Okay, next is a lip cream from Tarte, and it's in the color Wonder. Tarte is a brand carried at Sephora, and it is one that I'm very familiar of, so I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna put this on my hand. You guys can see I'm gonna put it on my other hand so this time I remember. Only because I'm wearing lip stuff and I don't want you guys to miss it. Ooh, that's very pretty. I like that a lot. I think it reminds me of like a punch color, like a fruity punch or something. That's very cool. And it twists up. It looks like they give you a lot for a little um, stick of it, so that's pretty nice. And then the last product in my Ipsy is by Briogeo. I think that's how you say it. I have gotten a product by them before in my Ipsy and I think it was the coconut milk leave-in conditioner and I have to say that is by far one of my favorite products that I've ever ever gotten in the Ipsy. Um, I actually want to buy it in the full size because I'm running out of it but it is so awesome. It is now a brand that Sephora does carry which is really awesome. Also um, this is the Don't Despair Repair Gel to Oil Overnight Repair Treatments. So it's for your hair but I'm sure that this is gonna work great. I cannot wait to try this. They have great hair care products. If you're looking for something pretty inexpensive, I would check this out. I would highly recommend it. Well, I highly recommend the company. I will let you know how I like this. So that is it for the Ipsy guys, and now onto the Birch Box. Okay, so here is the April Birch Box. It's very pretty. It's very cute. It says Birch Box, Rifle, Paper, and Co. Oh, it says Birch Box and Rifle paper co so that's probably like a sponsor thing that they're doing with this but it's very pretty all right let's see if birchbox redeems itself with me this month this is the one thing that i do really love about birchbox how they have it all listed for you so you can easily read what you're getting and 
then kind of see what the full size price is and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Wow, it looks like I got a lot of goodies in this box, actually. I have noticed that Birchbox has a lot of brands that are organic, which is one thing that I do really like about them. So the first thing is a Cure Organics. It's a pore minimizing facial scrub. I love facial scrubs, this is so nice. And I like it because it is only one fluid ounce, so if I do go somewhere on vacation, I can take this with me. I love the little travel size, it's awesome. It says it's got Moroccan red clay and argan stem cells for all skin types. Ooh, it's brown, you can see. So it does have the red clay in it. I bet that that's awesome. So I'm gonna be very, very excited to try that. The next thing is by Benefit Cosmetics, which is also carried at Sephora. I have actually tried this product. It is the Pore Professional Face Primer. So this is something that you put on before you put on any of your makeup. This works awesome. It does minimize your pores. I highly recommend this product. So I have tried this, but it, again, it's nice to just have the small little to go size so I can just take it with me. And what I love is it does tell you where you should be applying it so you don't have to apply it all over your face. Next is by Davines. It's an all all in one milk. And as a bonus, they added the Ole shampoo and the Ole conditioner too to try. That's pretty cool. I love trying different things for my hair just because, you know, some days I have hair, bad hair days, which is like today, so I'm gonna actually spray this in and see how I like it. Hmm, smells good. It smells like cleaning supplies, <laughs> actually. So if you like the smell of cleaning supplies, then maybe it's good. It's making my hair very soft though. And hopefully it'll start, it'll take down the frizz a little bit. But it smells pretty good. I don't mind the smell of cleaning supplies. And I, I'm not just saying it smells just like cleaning supplies, but that's what it reminds me of. But it's a little sweeter, so you know, it's not awful if you hate <laughs> cleaning supplies. I hope I didn't just turn you off with that product. I think it's good, guys, trust me. And then there is shampoo and conditioner, which I'll be very excited to try. It is made with Roku oil, and it's an absolute beautifying shampoo and conditioner. That's what it says. I'll have to see how those are also. Okay, next is a perfume sample. It comes in a little envelope. It is by Juliet Has a Gun. Oh, it says not a perfume. <laughs> okay, so it's not a perfume. I don't know what it is then. It says Juliet Has a Gun perf perfumes on the bottom. So let's see. This is kind of funny. It just says not a perfume. It comes with a little piece of paper and it says on the back, a fragrance made out of a single element called Chetalox, used in perfumery as a back note, decided for once it would be a lead role because it is one of my favorite ingredients. Another advantage of this particular composition is that it's entirely allergen free. The result is minimalist, elegant, and pure. I'm actually not wearing one of my perfumes today, so I will try this. It says not a perfume. <laughs> Let's see. It's actually kind of nice. So it's just one ingredient. It's got nothing else in it other than what it is itself. So it's pretty nice. It's kind of strong. It smells kind of like oaky, maybe. That's probably the right description for it. Okay, so next is another lip color. It is by The Beauty Crop. It is a PBJ smoothie stick guava nice day. <laughs> that's kind of funny that that's the name of it. It's a creamy lip crayon. I tend to like lip crayons because they're not like as drying as lipstick can be sometimes depending on what you're wearing. And it's cute. It's got little like blenders on it if you guys can see it because it's a smoothie. That's pretty cute. So I'm gonna swatch it for you guys just because I have lip stuff on. It's the thicker one that I have on my hand here and as you can see it's not as like punchy looking as I said this this one was before. It's definitely a little bit more pink, but very pretty, very pretty pink for springs. All right guys, that is it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Like I said earlier, if you guys would like me to still unbox the Birch Box every month along with the Ipsy, please let me know. I'm not saying that I if I don't do the Birch Box, I'm not gonna do the Ipsy. I will definitely still do the Ipsy, but just let me know what you guys think because I'm really trying to make a decision about that soon before the next month comes and they send me a new one. As always, everything is listed down in the description. Please check out all of my social media. You can stalk me below. I have everything listed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.